Welcome back. Of course, uh, ready for our first major conversation right here on The Breakfast and Plus uh, TV Africa. Uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukayode Ariwola. Uh, he's been dragged, you know, on social media and he's received some fire on social media over his support uh, for public display of support for the Oyo State Governor, Shei Makinde's membership of the G5 group of governors, also known as the Integrity Group. Now, five aggrieved governors are calling for the leadership change or leadership change in the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, to press home their demands. Uh, the governors pulled out of the presidential campaign of the People's Democratic Party, uh, Nigeria's major opposition party, having been uh, doing things on their own. Uh, the governors, I'm sure you know of them by now. Number one, yes, so Mike, governor of River State. Number two, Shei Makinde, governor of Oyo State. Number three, Samuel Otom, governor of Benue State. Number four, OK, Zeke Bazu, governor of Abia State. Hmm. And number five, Ifan Yigwai, governor of Enugu State. Justice Ariola, his lordship was at Port Harcourt in Port Harcourt for uh, an event and he spoke at a banquet held in his honor by Yeson Wike in Port Harcourt on Thursday night. Uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, who hails from Oyo State himself, said his host, that is Governor Wike, was threatening to withdraw Makinde's wife, who is from River State, expressing hope that Makinde would emulate Wike to replicate. Uh, the good works in his state. This is what he said. Let's just quote him now. He said, quote, That is why we should not be scared to have these men the, of the integrity group. That is why we should not be scared to have these men of the integrity group. And I am happy that my own governor is among them because he will try to imitate his friend and in-law. Uh, that's Wike because we came here to marry for my governor. He went on to say, quote, So, Governor Wike will always threaten that he will call back his wife, his sister if my governor fails to play ball. That is why you see him following his excellence. That's WK in the integrity group or G5 because my governor is afraid of his wife being recalled. Um, although the CGN made the remarks on a lighter note, uh, some Nigerians have accused him of bias. Uh, reacting to the comment, the People's Democratic Party in a statement said, while it has the utmost respect for the judiciary and judicial officers, it will not tolerate any action or utterance by any judicial officer, let alone the CJN, that undermines the integrity of the judiciary. This was a statement signed by the National Publicity Secretary of the Party, Debo Olu Ologunagba. Um, of course, the main opposition party ag argued that the CJN delved into its internal affairs. That's the PDP's internal affairs with a comment that encouraged division in uh, the party. They also went on to describe the CGN's action as unacceptable and inconsistent with his status as the head of the judicial arm of government. Now, we must also inform you that despite the preponderance of evidence or the video evidence available, uh, Nigeria Supreme Court has denied that those comments were made by Ulukai de Ariwola, uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria, on Shea Makinde's membership of the Integrity Group. Now, a statement was released on Sunday by the Apex Court, signed by, you know, the uh, spokesperson of the Apex Court, uh, Fesso Zakande, and he denied that the CJN made such a remark. He described this as a misconception to score cheap goals in political campaign season. Uh, the statement read in part, uh, permit us to just take uh, some part of that statement. Quote, as we all know, this is the era of aggressive and even unconventional politicking. So, there is nothing that will not be heard or seen at this critical time, especially between now and February 20, 2023 when the general elections will be conducted. Uh, he went on to say, quote, we can't really pinpoint where such barefaced falsehood is coming from and suddenly, we don't also know at what point the CJN said he was happy that Governor Shea Makinde of Oyo State was a member of the now Christian Integrity Group or G5 governance. End of quote. Uh, the question is, amongst others, should the statement of his lordship be a cause for concern? Uh, we have joining us this morning to discuss this, Mark Adebayo, who is a public affairs analyst. Um, he's in Lagos. Mark, good morning to you. Uh, are you concerned? You know, and should we all be concerned by not just a statement, but by the movement <laughs> and actions of uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, who has been, you know, recently seen amongst politicians 
in Ofes in Oyo State, where he was hosted uh, to a state reception, and now in River State, where Governor Wiki gave him a banquet. Well, thank you so much for having me. Good morning, viewers. Um, well, you see, uh, let me start with the failed attempt uh, to deny the, the reality of what really happened. It is quite funny, peculiar, for the CJN to attempt <laughs> to attempt to to reverse uh, what what he has done, what he has done, because what has happened is very clear. It's on video. I watched it. On Channel TV, I watch on other television stations. He said all these things that uh, were quoted, uh, uh, that he said, and uh, coming out to deny that with all the, like you said, preponderance of video evidence, uh, you know, is uh, is quite funny, peculiar, and a, a failed, a failed attempt, and a ridiculous one at that to deny the reality of what happened. You see, the CGN has unwittingly set himself up to be described as a meddlesome interloper into the political affairs of another political party. It is uh, it's, it's quite unfortunate, and I think uh, he made a mistake, he should just own up and apologize. Because, you see, in any future legal battles, cases that will get to the Supreme Court, involving any of these uh, so-called integrity, integrity group, the G5, the CJN must have to recuse himself from presiding over or from participating in any legal matter that involves any of these uh, G5 governors. Because he has he has already shown himself and proven himself to the public, to be partisan. Uh, you, 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 you went to River State and started eulogizing a politician, the sitting governor, that uh, you are you are sure you have been told. You have been informed that uh, we will be commissioning projects to the last day of his tenure. You know, what kind of, who does that as a chief justice of, of, of a country? As a, in fact, as a judge or magistrate. Just as a, as a, as an ordinary magistrate. You don't do that. You don't walk up with politicians to the, to the level of eulogizing them, to the level of even, of, even, of even cracking the kind of jokes that he cracked, you know, you know, you know, just the politicians and saying that uh, you are happy your but, governor but, but, is Mark Adebo, you, you made a very important point there. You saying the chief judge, the justice of Nigeria, will have to recuse himself uh, from handling any matter uh, <laughs> that involves the PDP at this internal crisis or is remotely or immediately connected or closely connected to that. But he doesn't need to sit on, the, on a matter. He is the chief justice of Nigeria and it is his... Um, his role to assign cases to judges. What I'm saying is that in at any time that any case involved uh, that this uh, any of these uh, chief of governors is involved, and it gets to the Supreme Court, the chief judge of Nigeria cannot sit on that case. I mean, but but, 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 but the, point, the point I'm making is he 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 yeah. No, 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 I mean, he cannot be. Mark, but the point I'm making is he 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 is the one who assigns. Or who determines which judge handles which case? I know, but you cannot be seen to sit on the panel of the Supreme Court uh, of Nigeria in any case before these these guys. You cannot. You cannot be seen to be sitting uh, in, in in any panel of the Supreme Court. So you will, if he if he does, some of us at the level of civil society are going to go to court to, to challenge him to recuse himself. He has said, like I said, he has unwittingly set himself up to be described as a meddlesome of interloper into the internal crisis and affairs of a political party. So a judge, at whatever level, not to talk of the, uh, of the, of the chief justice of Nigeria, should not be seen of not being at that level and making such comments that are absolutely antithetical to the integrity of, of, the, of his office and the oath that he took to be impartial in all, in all, in all matters. He, you see, he should, a chief judge, a chief justice should be seen like a citizen's wife who should be above any kind of reproach. It should be it should be faultless, more or less. You understand? So he cannot be going about eulogizing uh, politicians and claiming to, to now be impartial. No, it violates, it directly violates the oath of the office that he took as the chief justice of Nigeria. He, he made a mistake, he should own up, he should not just try to embellish anything. Nobody should come and, out and deny anything. He said all those things that he, that, uh, he was quoted to have said. And it's quite uh, I'm, so, I'm personally disappointed. I'm seriously supporting him because a, 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 a judge 
of his caliber, with the kind of the intellectual capacity that's carried all almost 30 years in the bench, with the kind of go and read his rulings, go and read his orders, go and read his judgment. You will see a brilliant, a, 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 a brilliant brain. You will see a brain that is filled with incredible uh, armada of intellectual capacity. Well, let's move away from his brilliance and uh, look at the statement from the Supreme Court disassociating the Chief Justice of Nigeria, of course, uh, from the political statement on the activities of the G5 governors. Do you think that this would actually, you know, redeem his image? It's just making a bad case worse. In the kind of uh, amateurish uh, rebuter deniers that uh, this is this is not uh, something that was done underground. This is not something that was being reported by somebody. This is not a third party information. This is a first party information. We all saw the video. We saw it in the, on the news. Uh, uh, many of the news channels, probably including yours, where he made those uh, those comments. They are very clear. So they are, the idea of coming out to now begin to hide behind one finger to say he didn't say all those things and claiming and blaming all that on the because of political system you know uh, it, it's, it's quite ridiculous that's why i said it, it is funny peculiar it is something that uh, i consider very amateurish and unreasonable to come out what is expected of it or they, they said who comes to justice must come with clean hands and possibly clean heart but he, 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 you 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 do not do that and then come out to even make it worse by denying the obvious. This is very obvious. We have every video evidence is very is all over the place. Why would anybody come to uh, come out to deny that? What is expected of the chief judge of Nigeria is to apologize to Nigerians before people begin to call for his resignation, and that is it may get to that. That's why I said he cannot, in any good conscience, sit on any matter that involves this Jiva government. Like your colleague said, he. He, he is in a position to assign judges to cases that involve anybody, including this uh, G5 governor. And even that can be challenged because he has uh, tilted the scale of justice in a way that is negative to the principles and ideology of justice itself by what he did. He, he, he is chief justice of Nigeria. And uh, like I said, not even necessarily a, a CJA, any, any, any judge or magistrate, any judicial officer should not be seen to be obnubbing with look in this country in our lifetime we have seen a minister collect research just research from an oil company he was fired he was not only fired for that he went to jail for collecting for, for collecting a gift of, of, of research he wasn't Tom David Vez was not a judge was not a justice he was a proof he was a, was a was an academic in the university before he was appointed by General Buhari in 1984 to, to come ahead of the Petroleum Ministry. But for collecting a research, he, he, he went to jail for that. For, so now, now you went to a backward, you are fitted, and then you begin to say things uh, that, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. No, but, but I'd like to ask, because we, we, we have a system where you have, uh, you have the executive, the judiciary, and the legislative arm of government, and all of this to you know, ensure that you don't have a certain arm of government being overly powerful or check the excesses, however it is. So don't we have, or is the judiciary itself, doesn't it have um, a system to purge itself of all of this kind of behavior? And do you think that this is punishable, just like you have mentioned, uh, referencing 1984? Absolutely. You know, there are, there are rules, you know, there are rules back of uh, that... Uh, you know, guide the conduct of of judicial officers uh, in this country and all over the world. You know, so the principle of separation of powers and balance of powers that you mentioned operates in all democracies. You know, and in the presidential system, there's almost an absolute separation of powers. And then, of course, you know the uh, balance of powers. Uh, uh, so you you stay in your in your lane. Governor VK has been fighting politicians, governors, former governors, sitting governors, uh, uh, speaker. All those, that's okay across party line. That's okay, but you don't bring in the judiciary into this. You don't bring in the judiciary. And if, uh, as a sitting CJA, you are invited to come and do that, you might go. But you don't say those things that you are saying. You are just them praising the different governors, calling, the, saying they are integrity, integrity group. You, support, you, you are, you are openly 
a controversial group like that, you are openly offering your support, backing for them, saying that you are even happy that your own home state governor is part of them. You understand? So even the joke crack, you know, all, all these things, you know, uh, are beneath the chief justice of Nigeria. It shouldn't be done. It shouldn't be seen to be doing that. If it were to be another judge that did that, we will be calling on the CGM by now to sanction that judge. So the the, uh, the body of backbenchers must uh, do something about this. And I think the Ministry of Justice must do something about it. Yeah, Mama Kadiba, you, you raised a very important please. point. Yeah, please. Yeah, you raised a very important point talking about the conduct of um, uh, of uh, you know judicial you know or, or officers or judges. Let's just uh, call them that. And um, our lords are really well, highly respected. You know, and um, you know in their conduct, you know it, it's hard to be a judge because you expect to really live a very strict life. Almost a you know sedentary life, you know, isolatory life in a way. Um I've I've been around these judges, you know, at one point in time because of my work up close and personal. And it's clear that they 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 once you get to that line, you're almost like a uh, will you agree with this school of thought? You're almost like a Catholic priest where you can't do everything. You know, you can't do everything. So what are your thoughts on the way our judges you know conduct themselves now as compared to the judges you knew, maybe in the 80s, for instance. Uh, let's just stick at that, to that, in the 80s, for instance. Um, I've had some judges, I've seen some judges attend functions, and they don't stay till the end, you know, because they don't want to be seen to be at parties, at celebratory events, where there's a chance of being in the same place with maybe people in the political class or business community. They don't want to be seen there. So they come for those events. I've seen it personally a number of times. They come for those events and then they leave, you know, immediately. Just say a word and then they leave, you know. Um, how, I mean, what do you say about this? Because the governor was, the, the CJN was hosted to a reception by his governor, you know, your state, where he eulogized him. That's a state reception. Wiki was there as well. Wiki had some good things to say about him. And then at this particular one, Wiki did a, a commissioning of the, Mario Dili, Justice Mario Dili, her lordship, or his lord rather, his lordship, uh, Justice Mario Dili's Judicial Institute. And you know, the, the speeches by Wiki are usually politically laced, so the, the chief judge of Nigeria says how to sit down through those speeches of how Atiku had not done this and done that, and you know, then he gave a speech, and the governor held his hand, you know, held his hand and walked him into the Judicial Institute, show him around. You know, on live on national TV, he held his hand like this, you know. So, should, should judicial officers, should judges stay away from these, these events? And how do you compare uh, the, their conduct these days to what obtained years ago, decades ago? When we were growing in the 70s and the 80s, and by the time I got to, to the university around 1989, you know, oftentimes justice, justice were hard. They are never seen in public. They are not everywhere. You understand? Like I told you at the beginning, they are supposed to be like Caesar's wife, that above every reproach. You understand? They are supposed to always live a perfectly quiet life. A perfectly quiet life. You don't see them gallivanting around with politicians or going to parties. Like you said, if they go to parties that, you know, to friends, maybe the, 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 a friend's daughter is wedding or something about, or a funeral that is family or just of that, you don't see them even... You know. But today, you see judges dancing and even spraying money. You know, <laughs> in, in this, in our, in I haven't country. seen that. <laughs> okay, so well, well, you see, look, like if I, uh, unfortunately, I'm not a liberty to say, but if 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 I, if you knew, if go and do your investigative journalism and discover the kind of what I would call unholy alliance between Governor Wiki and Justice Mary Odili retire, it's, it's quite it's something that is uh, can, can, cannot be discussed on national TV. But you see, he has a way with judges. I give that to him, Governor Wiki. He has a way with judges. You know, if you if you know the story of how 74 political parties were deregistered during the pendency of a case in court, and then the Supreme Court of Nigeria went ahead, rather than protect the integrity of the court, went ahead to uphold that judgment that I think was right in the registration of political parties during the pendency of a case in court. When a case is in court, status quo remain. You don't, you don't. Do, I think was taken to court by 42 political parties that don't register us. 
and the case was in court uh, two months later. And it, while the, the case was still in court, I need to register political parties. So I appeal court did justice to that case and said that Anek had no right to, to take that action while it was already in court. He got to the Supreme Court. And what did the, the Supreme Court do? The Supreme Court upheld the judgment of the lower court, saying that Anek was right in the religious political party. That's one aspect. All, all of us know what happened in, with the Imo election case, how the current governor Iman, and how the Supreme Court. That's why they called the, 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 the opponent of this or Iman up to tomorrow in, in Imo State as Supreme Court uh, judge. So many judgments and others and rulings of the Supreme Court lately has come under serious, you know, spotlight or public scrutiny, and many of it are totally, you know, uh, disfavorable to the to Nigerians. Okay. And for well, now to add insult to upon injury, for the citizens of Nigeria to be praising politicians and hobnobbing with them, going to banquets and rest of that, he didn't have to go. And if he had to go, he didn't have to say those things that he said. Nobody, well, you are invited for a banquet, fine, but you didn't have to say all those things. We well, just stand up and pray and sit down and go, act like you said. I just go. I mean, you, should, you, should, you should not stop. You should stop saying uh, the technical that it is. It is. It is so nice. It's so brilliant. It's so good. It's so excellent for our democracy to have a group like this. When you know they are a controversial group and their party is not happy with them, and then you are saying that now. If imagine, imagine just let us imagine that one of the governors is dismissed from the party, and then he went. He goes to court. I court. The case moves to appeal court, the case now gets to the Supreme Court. How do you expect justice to be done? How do you expect this case of justice to be balanced? Mark Adebayo, quickly as we close this conversation down, uh, just as a follow up, Adebayo, uh, just yeah. quickly, I I'd like to ask you uh, yeah. does the judiciary not have uh, you know, a system or mechanism to purge itself of all of this? Because there's a popular saying that. Uh, a corrupt judiciary uh, would definitely, you know, lead to a society that's corrupt. You see, a society can survive if you have a faulty executive. A society can progress if you have a faulty legislature. But a, a society will self-destruct if you have a faulty judiciary. That is how important the judiciary is. You know, it is called the last hope of the common man. You know, it is the, it, it, that is the, it is the balancing factor of every society. Where it is seen to be corrupt, where it is seen to be inefficient, where it is seen to be biased, that society will self destruct. So, that does the judiciary not have a system to purge itself of all of it this? Has, it has to be activated now, and the chief judge at least should be queried. At least, minimally, should be queried. Well, unfortunately, he was about to, you know, let that drop, but we probably have been disconnected by the network and that's what we're talking about let's see how uh, all of this happens for us in 2023 as regards you know the transmission of our results with all of the services that we get from telecommunication you know companies mark adebayo if you can hear me uh, that's the much we can take at this point in time we look forward to sharing more of your thoughts uh, on the breakfast and plus tv africa thank you so much for joining us We'll take a break and when we return, Kofi, I'm sure. Yes, indeed. Uh, of, we'll look at uh, what the federal government is uh, spending conditional cash uh, transfer program. Um, Shekin Shopito joins us in a few minutes. Stay with us. <laughs>